Today we're going to replace the downstream oxygen sensor. That's the one past the catalytic converter on the 2009 Ford Escape. And this is the same sensor that's used on many, many different Ford products and the same changing process applies to all of them. Looking up in front of the CV shaft, we can see the green connector for this oxygen sensor on the bottom. And the oxygen sensor is just to the inward side of this right there, screwed into the exhaust pipe just below the catalytic converter. And it looks like it's pretty easy to get to. I've already got it soaking in PB Blaster. You can see that there. I've got a 22 millimeter boxed end wrench. It'll fit nice and snug on there. If that doesn't do the trick, we can cut the wire off on it and put a 22 millimeter deep socket on there. It's a little tight fit. You can't get a pipe. Sometimes I'll get them with a pipe wrench, but this one's not going to work with a pipe wrench. And it's not going to work with a special crow foot adapter I bought either. I lost some of the footage I filmed, but the 22 millimeter open end wrench took the action sensor right out without too much trouble at all. The hardest part is for me to reach up here and try and get the connector off that goes to the wiring harness, that green plug. And it's not really hard to do, it's just a little awkward to reach. I'm going to try and see if we can reach it from the top. If we can't reach it from the top, I'm going to get a screwdriver up in there and I'm going to pop that connection out of the holder plate so I can get a better angle on it. And then when it's back together, I'll pop it back into the holder plate. But here's what we're looking at. Where's that? Right here. The screw goes in and it's like this right now, but actually the part with the clip release, the part where are we going here? There we go. The part with the clip release right here is up on top. It's actually facing this way. And it's like up on top like this. So I'm trying to reach my hand in from this side, get up here near here, push with one finger on this while I'm pulling. And it's just not working very well. So we're going to try it from the top. And that was the way to go. I was able to reach right down in there, push on the release tab and pull it off. Screw the new sensor into the manifold exhaust pipe, then put the wire on afterwards. You'll be good to go. There's a link to the parts I used in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.